Welcome to This Week in Astrology. This is episode number 626 for May 16 through 31, 2023. Jupiter enters Taurus and squares Pluto during the second half of May. Jupiter and Pluto are also part of potent T-square and Grand Cross aspect patterns. We also have an abundantly aspected Taurus new moon along with the Sun entering Gemini and Venus grabs the spotlight in two new aspect patterns, a Grand Cross and a financially auspicious mystic rectangle. This episode is sponsored by my book, the number one Amazon bestseller called Instant Divine Assistance, your complete guide to fast and easy spiritual awakening, healing, and more. Just go to Amazon and search for Instant Divine Assistance or click the link in the show notes. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm your host, Benjamin Bernstein. I record these forecasts as an audio podcast and a video, so take your pick. The video version includes detailed chart graphics, which you can also see in my written forecasts at astroshaman.com. Be sure to subscribe to This Week in Astrology in your preferred app, and if you haven't already, be sure to click the link in the show notes for two chances to win a free Astrology Plus session with me each month. In fact, I'll be announcing a winner at some point during this episode for May. As of May 16, the moon is waning, Pluto is retrograde through October 10th, and we have seven continuing aspect patterns. Details and links to all this is in the show notes. Let's get on with our individual days. Tuesday, May 16, Jupiter enters Taurus at 1.20 p.m. EDT. He'll stay in Taurus for just over a year through May 25th of 2024. This expands all the natural themes of Taurus. These include money, material possessions, the five senses, persistence, nature immersion, and just being. Jupiter could also expand the less desirable qualities of Taurus. These include resistance to change, even when a situation isn't good. This is characterized by the saying, the devil I know is better than the devil I don't know. You can also bore yourself to death if you let Taurus energy keep you stuck when it would be better to move forward. Back on the upside, Taurus can lend stability and persistence to Jupiter's positive inclinations. These are numerous and include higher education, formal or self-guided as a student, acting as a professor, philosopher, guru, or other wisdom giver, delving into foreign cultures and countries, exploring religion, philosophy, and life's meaning, embarking on quests and adventures, enjoying celebration, euphoria, and enthusiasm. But don't let Taurus get you mired in Jupiter's dark side. This can express as overextension or proselytizing the one true way. Finally, Jupiter and Taurus can join forces to support you in these three areas, practical idealism, higher education with practical applications, and euphoric sensuality. On Wednesday, May 17, Jupiter squares Pluto at 9.10 p.m. EDT. This is one of 2023's most important aspects. The square is in orb, which means close enough to be felt, April 18 through June 17. I'm repeating the following information from my interpretation of the Mars-Jupiter-Pluto T-square on May 3rd. I covered this last episode, so here it is again as a reminder. Pluto can bring death, transformation, and eventually rebirth. Jupiter, our solar system's biggest gas giant, is all about expansion. So he can take whatever Pluto is doing and make it gargantuan. Ren Butler masterfully lays out these Jupiter-Pluto possibilities in his wonderful book, The Archetypal Universe, Astrological Patterns in Human Culture, Thought, Emotion, and Dreams. I'm grateful that I can borrow from Ren's masterwork on planetary combinations with his permission to share these archetypal possibilities. Let's start with some positive Jupiter-Pluto potentials great resources and potential, titanic evolutionary forces, the capacity for enormous success, empowerment through education, intensive urges to improve the recognition that power either benefits all or none, an ethic of right makes might as opposed to the other way around, dramatic opportunities for regeneration and transformation, beneficial destruction, heavy experiences with a positive outcome, the long trip into and through the underworld of the psyche, triumph through facing death, intense idealism, the faith to move mountains, empowered activism or philanthropy, the urge to share one's transformative experiences with a larger culture, the power of truth. 
Obviously, this Jupiter-Pluto square has plenty of upside potential, but we're also wise to stay alert to its darker possibilities. These include extreme material or spiritual ambition, a tendency to feel high and mighty, which can threaten those in authority, an obsession with glory and greatness, political drama, delusions of superiority, opportunities to abuse power, runaway power trips, inclinations to act as a law unto yourself, the power elite, plutocracy, obsessive righteousness, fanaticism and overkill, misplaced moral urgency, religious or other dogma, ideals of betterment and progress as a reason to dominate other people and nature, stupendous waste of shared resources. So this Jupiter-Pluto square can be used for good or ill. Earth is a free will zone, so we each get to make our choices. I certainly hope yours will be wise and serve the greater good of all. On Thursday, May 18, an envelope peaks. To understand this peaking envelope aspect pattern, we first need to understand a simpler aspect pattern that serves as its foundation. This mystic rectangle started on May 3rd and includes Mars, Ceres, Neptune, and Pluto. The new kid in town is the Sun, which creates the aspect pattern's focal point. It joined the other planets to form this envelope on May 11, both aspect patterns end on May 25th. The key themes of the mystic rectangle are empathic and emotional sensitivity, as well as healing emotional trauma. You can take definitive action to manifest your dreams and visions, and you can take bold, heartfelt action in the areas of sacred sex, spiritual awakening, and the expression of your inspired creativity. So what does the sun add to the party? If you want to do any of this in a more public way, it can help you step into the spotlight as a leader or entertainer. The sun is in Taurus through May 20th, helping you persevere and open more deeply to your five senses. The sun shifts to Gemini on May 21st in the waning aspect pattern's final days. This can help you focus your mind more precisely on what you're manifesting with this envelope. I'll be right back with an abundantly aspected Taurus new moon interpretation and much more right after this. Do you want to tap into your inner power and manifest your dreams into reality? Do you believe that spirituality, healing, and magic can transform your life? If so, I invite you to join me in a free online event. It can help you manifest a soulmate, make money doing what you love, and amplify the abundance in your life. Our special community of teachers, healers, and light workers, including me, want to help you unlock your full potential and manifest the life you really want. Through our teachings and techniques, you will learn how to harness the power of the universe and manifest your deepest desires, discover the healing secrets that can help you create positive change in your life, explore the depths of spirituality, learning how to connect with your higher self for inner peace and fulfillment. Sound good? Then check out this free, powerful event. It's called Magic, Healing, and Manifestation, the Spiritual Path to Creating Love, Money, and Abundance in Life. You will receive your free guide, healings and meditations, practical and spiritual practices you can implement daily, and other support so you can take your spirituality, magic, and manifestation to the next level. I look forward to welcoming you into our community. All the video interviews are live right now. That includes mine as well as the 25 other teachers, healers, and light workers in this special program. Click the link in the show notes to join us for free. But don't wait too long. This is a limited offer and all this will go away soon. One more announcement. The events in my Awakening Plus online membership range from Bubble Bath Gentle to Shamanically Intense. They support your individual healing and awakening, as well as global spiritual awakening. We also have community-focused events where members ask questions and connect with each other. Not a member yet? Join one of our free events. Two calls are open to the public each month. Experience how Awakening Plus can accelerate your personal evolution. Hundreds of satisfied members make up our supportive online community. Would this be a good fit for you? As of May 2023, Awakening Plus members receive these exclusive benefits. At least nine of our monthly Zoom events are members only. Some members attend lots of live events, while some don't do any. In fact, most members prefer to experience our events when it's best for them, choosing from an archive of over 550 life-transforming experiences. 
Amazingly, the recorded events are just as powerful as the live ones. We even have an easy to use best of guide to help you choose the event that will help you most right now. There are three major courses so far with more coming, a members helping members service. You can pair up with an accountability partner if you wish, constant support from the Awakening Plus group energy field, and that's not even all the benefits. Click the link in the show notes to learn more or go to awakeningplus.com. That's awakening, P-L-U-S dot com. Let's get back to our forecast on Friday, May 19th. There is an abundantly aspected new moon at 11.53 a.m. EDT, around 28 degrees Taurus. Any Taurus new moon is great for new beginnings or rev-ups in these areas. You may have heard this before earlier in this forecast. Money, material possessions, the five senses, persistence, nature immersion, just being. Aspects. This new moon has lots of harmonious aspects. Let's consider them individually, then combine them into an aspect pattern. The luminaries and Neptune make a tight sextile with an orb or exactness of around one degree. This empowers spiritual awakening practices, inspired creativity, and functioning more easily in flow state. This aspect can also support dream interpretation and conscious dreaming. Neptune's sextile to the Taurus sun and moon also juices up law of attraction manifestation as well as embodied awakening. In fact, in my show notes, I have a link to my little post on how to use the law of attraction. Pluto's tight trine with the luminaries, which has about a two degree orb, can make it easier to connect with wealth and power. This effect is especially strong with the luminaries in Taurus, the sign of money and material possessions. This trine can also amplify any law of attraction work you're doing with the Neptune sextile. Pluto also rules psychological and emotional healing. Somatically focused healing is especially energized since Taurus rules the five senses. My free healing invocation, which can make trauma healing much quicker and easier, works even better under these astrological influences. To learn about that, as well as my embodied awakening invocation, go to astroshaman.com. Right there at the top on the menu bar, you'll see the word instant divine assistance, the words I should say, and click those, and that'll take you into this free little course I have on that. You'll learn how to do the invocations for embodied awakening and for healing and how to use them in a simple daily practice if you want. And there's also a link to the show notes for that. A moderately strong series luminaries trine reinforces Pluto's key themes of wealth enhancement and psychological healing. A tight sextile between the luminaries and Mars adds more get up and go to anything you start under this new moon. Mars placement in Cancer can help you get emotionally excited about your new moon goals. Cancerian energy can also add emotional juice to your law of attraction work, which can help your visions manifest more quickly. When you combine all the aspects I've discussed so far, they form an envelope aspect pattern. It includes the moon and sun, Mars, Ceres, Neptune, and Pluto. I interpreted this aspect pattern already in my May 18 forecast. Here are bullet points of the envelope themes I didn't already mention in this new moon forecast. You can increase empathic and emotional sensitivity, sacred sex, and stepping into the spotlight as a leader or entertainer. But there's more aspects beyond this envelope. The sun and moon make a tight semi-square with Venus in Cancer. If relationship challenge arises, take time to feel deeply into the emotions that are coming up. It will help if you can both stay in your hearts as you work through the issue. As always, I enthusiastically recommend Marshall Rosenberg's nonviolent communication method to help you work through any difficult issues. The new moon's loosest aspect is a broad conjunction with Uranus. That's about a nine degree orb. There are three great ways to work with Uranus. One, be your authentic self and share it with the world as appropriate. Two, follow your intuitive hits. It doesn't get any more reliable than that. And three, serve others using your special gifts and talents that you most love to use. On Saturday, May 20th, one of 2023's most important aspect patterns peaks today, a T-square with Mars, Jupiter, and Pluto. It started on May 3rd, peaks today on May 20th, and ends on June 6th. However, the heart of this aspect pattern lasts almost twice as long. The square between Jupiter and Pluto came into orb, close enough to be felt on April 18th, peaked three days ago on May 17th, and leaves orb on June 17th. I interpreted the Jupiter-Pluto square a few minutes ago in my May 17 forecast entry. Assuming that's still fresh in your mind, 
let's discuss the Mars-Jupiter-Pluto T-square. The first effect of adding Mars is to make the Jupiter-Pluto effects even stronger. Mars encourages you to take assertive action toward any of the Jupiter-Pluto possibilities you choose to focus on. Jupiter and Pluto also ramp up the natal meanings of Mars. They can supercharge your activities as a warrior, pioneer, entrepreneur, or sexual being. With Mars moving from Cancer to Leo halfway through this T-square, you can further fine-tune how you work with it. With Mars and Cancer through May 20th, you can energize the themes of family, home, security, emotions, and shadow work. With Mars in Leo, May 21st through the rest of the T-square and beyond, you can boost your activities as a leader or entertainer to the next level. Now a short little one. On Sunday, May 21st, the sun enters Gemini at 3.09 a.m. EDT. For the next month, learning, teaching, and communication will be energized. Gemini also supports local travel, enjoying variety, and connecting with your neighbors and relatives. On Wednesday, May 24th, Two very similar aspect patterns peak today. One is a T-square with Jupiter, Pluto, and the lunar nodes that can help you amplify your wealth and power. It started on April 21st, peaks today on May 24th, and ends on July 2nd. The other peaking aspect pattern is a grand cross, which adds Mars to the planets I just mentioned. It started on May 9th, peaks today on the 24th, and ends on June 6th. In this episode, I've already interpreted the May 17 Jupiter-Pluto square and the Mars-Jupiter-Pluto T-square peaking on the 20th of May. Everything I said there also applies to the aspect patterns peaking today. Additional information that applies to both these patterns relates to the lunar nodes. Because they're involved, it's best to focus on opportunities that align with your life purpose. It's also notable that the lunar nodes are in Scorpio and Taurus, signs which relate to money, possessions, wealth, and power. With the north node in Taurus, it's also a reminder to persevere where that serves your highest good. On Friday, May 26, a financially auspicious mystic rectangle starts today on May 26, peaks on June 3rd, and ends on June 11. This harmonious aspect pattern focuses on Venus, the ruler of money. It also includes Ceres, the asteroid goddess who rules harvest and abundance. Pluto supports wealth and power, while Neptune encourages you to clearly envision what you want to manifest. Venus also rules connections with others, so this mystic rectangle can also bring flow, inspiration, and abundance to your relationships. If any relationship healing is needed, it can proceed with more ease and harmony. If a relationship is sexual, the enhanced ecstasy of light body blending is supported. Venus also rules creativity, while Neptune rules divine inspiration. So artists of all kinds can use this aspect pattern to strongly and smoothly partner with their muse. On Monday, May 29th, Venus is the focal point of a powerful grand cross that starts today on May 29th, peaks on June 8th, and ends on June 16th. This potent aspect pattern also includes Jupiter, Pluto, and the lunar nodes. First, it's important to note that, except for its final five days, this grand cross overlaps the Venus-focused mystic rectangle that started on May 26th. Plus, a Venus-Pluto opposition appears in both aspect patterns. So, this grand cross partners with and amplifies the power of the mystic rectangle. In the grand cross, Jupiter amplifies Venus's previously described financial, relational, and creative potentials. The lunar nodes play the same roles as previously described in this May 16-31 to 31 forecast. They amplify your financial possibilities and encourage you to act in alignment with your life purpose. Pluto plays the same role as in the mystic rectangle. Venus enters Leo on June 5th, so she'll be in that sign during most of this grand cross. This offers extra support if you're doing anything that involves leadership, performance, or play. Also, earlier I mentioned my number one best-selling book, Instant Divine Assistance, Your Complete Guide to Fast and Easy Spiritual Awakening, Healing, and More. In it, you can learn how easy it can be to experience spiritual awakening within seconds just by requesting it from your higher self, quickly and permanently heal a serious challenge, even one that's caused you years of physical, emotional, or mental suffering by delegating the work to your inner healer, call in any kind of energy you want, anytime you want it, 
heal and bless others simply by calling it in and being a hollow reed, thrive in a new normal of harmonious living, enhanced intuition, joyous fulfillment of your responsibilities, and bliss. You can do all this and more with the instant divine assistance invocations. This book gives you everything you need to master them. Plus, you get free access to guided recordings and other valuable online support that will speed up your personal evolution. For over 12 years, the Ida invocations have dramatically improved thousands of people's lives. Isn't it time you also experienced how quick and easy spiritual awakening, healing, and so much more can be? The ebook is only $3.99 and included with Kindle Unlimited. The paperback is only $12.99. Also, learn fast and easy tools for awakening, healing, and more, gain wisdom from enlightening guests, and enjoy mind-bending ayahuasca stories. It's all on my Awaken, Heal, and Thrive podcast. New episodes drop around the 9th and 23rd of each month. Check out the latest episode, 17 Practical Benefits of Spiritual Awakening. Click the link in the show notes or search for Awaken, Heal, and Thrive wherever you get audio or video podcasts. I mentioned at the top I was going to announce May's free session winner. It is Greenly, G-R-E-E-N-L-Y. This is the only Greenly who signed up. So if that's you, pop me an email, benjamin at astroshaman.com. We will get you set up with your free astrology reading. Congratulations, Greenly. Thanks for being here, everyone. Once again, I'm Benjamin Bernstein with astroshaman.com. I can serve you with astrology readings, shamanic healing, and one-of-a-kind life coaching. All my one-on-one -on -one services are equally effective in person or long distance. I also offer an unbeatable price on Solar Fire, the number one astrology software for Windows. And as I mentioned, I run the Awakening Plus online membership for spiritual support. You can learn all about this and more at astroshaman.com. There's links to everything I've mentioned in the show notes. Please reach out if you have any questions. My email is benjamin at astroshaman.com. My number for voice and text is 828-338-9852. I'd love to connect with you. We are wrapping up. Please leave me a five-star rating, review, or comment wherever you're getting this so that others who also love astrology and spirituality can find it. And be sure to check out my book and Awaken, Heal, and Thrive podcast. Thanks again for spending this time with me. I wish you infinite blessings as the stars light your way. <laughs>